and not pale and interesting, like pale and sickly. I'm an old man, I can't help it. Tequila, tequila, tequi, tequi. I had a date. Why is it not coming out? <clears throat> I'm here for a good time, not a long time, do you know what I mean? All right, my vibe for tonight is effortless steeds. Look at my breakfast. I don't like it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Why do I feel like I've forgotten how to vlog? Oh my god! Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Tamsin Hill. The camera is going higgity higgity higgity. Higgity higgity. Because I've got like this little silicone mat that it stands on so it doesn't move like when I vlog in the car, but it's got dust all over it so it's not working as well. So I need a new one. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We're on our way to the Trafford Centre. I'm going to the dietitian shop to get my hair done to like see how the air wrap works on me. I am really excited because I've wanted to do this for so long, but I never got around to it. I have fine, flat hair, so I'll be very interested to see how it works and see if it lasts. I don't think it's going to last. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think it's going to last. Um, but then at least we're trying it out. I think you can get this done for, it might be £30. Basically go there, get a blow dry, they'll teach you all about the air wrap. Use the air wrap on you, wash your hair, everything, I'm pretty sure. But you're gonna come with me so you'll see the whole process today. I'm so happy because yesterday I got my eyebrows and a lash lift and I feel like a new woman. Because before this, I was just feeling, you know when you get to that stage, and especially because I was like due on my period as well, I just felt kind of butters, I can't lie. Like I'm pe very pale right now. Not looking the healthiest in the face, you know what I mean? I'm not going behind that fucking bus. You could, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm looking very pale. And not pale and interesting, like pale and sickly. You know what I mean? Um, really need a holiday, but I'm not going away till January. So I was looking very pale and then like my eyebrows were just overgrown, no tint to them. My lashes were straight down because I haven't had lashes, like extensions on for a while. Um, so I just decided to get a lash lift because I just think that's so natural and pretty. I had a big fat spot come out here. It's kind of gone down now, but it was angry, real angry. So yeah, that's what's going on with me. So I'm excited. We're going to do like a little weekend vlog. You'll spend the day, spend the whole weekend with me. I can't talk properly because I haven't done this in so long. It's Thursday today, so we're going to go to Trafford Centre today, get that done. I also need to like finish cleaning my house because my parents are coming to stay tonight, which is exciting. We're all gonna go out for dinner and go to some breweries that my dad wants to go to. And then what am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. I don't think I'm doing much tomorrow. Yeah, actually my whole weekend has opened up. I was supposed to be doing something Friday and Saturday, but that's gone down the drain now. So my whole weekend's opened up. But my friend texted me today and asked me to go to a house party with her on Saturday. I have not been to a house party in years. So you better catch me there, babe. And then I'm going on a date on Sunday. So, life, you know what I mean? Life is for the living. So I'll catch you when we get there. It's 10 to now and I'm about, I'm, I'm done about 10 minutes away. And I still need to walk up when I get there. I might be five minutes late. Ugh. We'll just get it going, girls. Let's go. doing a bit of cleaning because my parents are here now. This is about an hour and a half later. So we still, oh, I've put a kink in my hair. It doesn't matter, it'll come out. It does look really good, I can't lie. Is the air wrap worth it? I have fine hair that doesn't really hold a curl. Is it worth it? 600 pounds. I don't know, it's not gonna give you the blowout that everyone else gets with the air wrap, but I think it looks cute. I don't know about 600 pounds cute. But it's definitely made my hair like sleek and smooth and nice. I'm just gonna do a quick bit of makeup because we're gonna go out in about 20 minutes. I have literally been running around the house like a headless chicken, trying to make sure everything was right for my parents coming because you know how parents are when they come to your house, like especially mums. So I had to make sure it was tidy. And they still walked in and said, your windows are dirty. 
after I've done all this running around to make the house nice. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, literally just a bit of this Airborean CC cream just to even out my skin tone, old school YouTube guru. A little bit of concealer. My lips are so dry. Cute. A little bit of cream bronzer. I'm also going to do a little bit of a Fenty cream blush in Pinky Promise. I really like these. They blend so nicely. They just look very natural. But you can also build it up to be a lot more. So I'll do a little bit of mascara on these lashes. I think I feel the most pretty when I've had a fresh lash lift. Like, they just make you look so pretty. That is literally all I'm going to do. Because I can't be bothered and I need lip balm immediately. I used to love this lip balm, but it's run out. And I'm not repurchasing it because it's so expensive. It's a Charlotte Tilbury lip balm. I just have never seen a lip balm with a roller ball. Like, and it's like very oily and it is really nice, but it's like 30 pound for lip balm. That's crazy. I'm just trying to see. Let me get dressed. Okay, I'm all ready. These are my new favourite jeans and I have to link them for you guys. I don't know if I want it tucked in like that. Okay, perfect. These are from ASOS, I believe. I've got like these little leopard print converse on it. This belt, which is also from ASOS. People keep telling me it looks like a diesel belt. So I like that. Top is PLT from the Naomi Campbell collection. There's a matching skirt, but it's really cute because it's kind of see-through, but kind of not. My necklace is from Soul and Gold. My earrings are them Bottega dupes I got from Amazon. So yeah, and I'm gonna take a bag and my coat. So let's go and have a fun day with my parents. Should I come and sit with you after I get you another glass? Yeah, you can talk to him then. We're at the first stop of our wholesome day out. We're at a brewery called Cloudwater Brewing Co. You can see it all behind me. With me, Mum. <laughs> right. What one do you want next? People are. Uh, here's the IPA. We've had a, a couple of. Have you, is it still recording? Yeah, it's recording. Oh, Do you want me to come and sit with you? No, Hold no, on. No, tell me. Yeah. All right. You've had a Hellish. I've had a Pilsner hel and I've had a Porter. I've had a Hellish. Yeah. Sorry, not that. I've had a Hellish. Yeah. German beer. Yeah. Brewed in Manchester. Yeah. Now we're going to have some hazy IPA. Right. Poppy hazy IPA. Love that. <laughs> Which one do you want? I've got a gentle breeze, fruit sour. And very nice it is too. And I'm just trying fuzzy, a hazy pale ale. Yeah. What do you think of that? Not much aroma. Alright. No. Really easy drinking. Bit of sharpness, not no, too it much dryness. It smells like weed. It smells like they weed. Smell oh well, that's why I don't know what weed smells <laughs> like. <laughs> so smell like weed. Not for me, but the, I can, you know. Well, this one, this one, which is called Super Happy. That has a lot more aroma. That feels just smell like <laughs> weed. That's why it's called Super Happy. See, I think that's got more aroma than that. Oh, well, there you go. Different One of us hasn't got a bent nose. <laughs> these are for real ale drinkers. <laughs> These aren't real ales, these are craft beers. Alright, well, so the, the really, real ale? They're really hoppy. So they're carbonated, so they have CO2 injected into them. Right. The real ale, so just before I had a cask porter, so cask means it's on hand pump. Mm. So there's, it's just, it, the beer's almost flat. There's a head on it yes. because they've pulled it through a. But it's not super. It's not, there's no gas in the beer. Oh. These beers have got gas in them. So, and yours has got gas. This is really nice. This is the one that Emma's drinking. It's called Gentle, uh, Gentle Breeze. Gentle Breeze. Mm. Slightly sour, really fruity. Oh, a bit of acidity, loads of acidity, isn't it? Yeah, nice. It doesn't. It tastes better. It, it tastes channel. better than it smells. What do you think, Em? I think it's easy drinking. Yeah. Well, it, it is sour though. Mm, it's really nice. It's because the passion fruit, I think. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Really catches your all your taste buds on your tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's 
you know, if you're drinking some sort of crappy, cheap, you know, beer. Yeah. What, like Foster's? Yeah, like Foster's. Yeah. Like, exactly like Foster's. Yeah. Uh, which is shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, if you, well, I had a lager before that's brewed here yeah. that doesn't taste anything like Foster's, but it's a lager. Yeah. But I love lager, the, the really good brewed nice lager. Nice lager. Yeah. Artisan stuff, not mass produced stuff. That's, you can gulp it down, but it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no it character, no quality. Yeah. No. Good taste of anything, so really. There's our beer review. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'll just rant and rave about it. <laughs> I, I, I like it. I'm an old man, I can't help it. So, yeah, we're going to have some here and then we're going to go across the road to another brewery. So, we're at Cloudwater Brewing in Manchester, which is a really famous craft brewery. Then we're going to go, I didn't realise that track brewing is literally 50 yards across the road. Yeah. And I'm not good at walking because I can't breathe very well. Mm -hmm. So, that is brilliant, only 50 yards away. And yep. hopefully we'll get absolutely kale-eyed and then we'll probably make fools of ourselves <laughs> at the fine dining restaurant. At the restaurant. fine dining restaurant <laughs> later in the middle of, in the middle of Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to get kale-eyed. Well, your mother might. She's yeah. drink. Pal eh? She's on seven point five. The boss. She's on seven point four percent fruit sour. Seven point four percent ABV. <laughs> if you have a pint of that, it's like something half a bottle of wine. <laughs> well, she can do that in her sleep. So yeah. that's just a Tuesday night. What a good duo was. We're at the next place across the road. 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 We're at the next place across the road. The beer's working. Called Track Brewing. So this is the inside. And they do pizza over there. And then you're in the brewery. And this. I'm smelling. I've got this one. It's called Half Down. I'm not really a beer drinker, but because Dad's here. The hazy pale ale. Yeah. But well, the good thing is you can just get a third of a pint. You have to get, is this a full, if they fill that up, is that a full pint? I think you got a half. I didn't, oh, maybe I did. Yeah. No, I think I got a third and he filled it up high. He must have fancied you. I mean, everyone does, so. Yeah. One of them things. Have a smell of that one. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. That's a saison, and it's been. Um, cool. it, it'll have cinnamon, uh, orange, the, the orange, loads of orange. Yeah, they'll put all that into the end of the boil, and then when the boil in the work, and they'll put maybe coriander, maybe. I've just brewed That's one. Nice. I've just brewed it at home, and I put star anise and crushed coriander in it. So. And then I'm gonna dry hop it. Are you, are you recording? I'm listening. Are you recording or not? Yes. I'm going to dry hop mine with a hop called Mandarina Bavaria, which should give us an orange aroma. So you know when you talk about mouthfeel, is that because like that's creamy and that's more that's wet? More cream, yeah, that's more because that's a drier beer. It's bitter. That's more. I'm sorry, because it's, it's sour. A, it's more sour, isn't it? Yeah, it's got, it's slightly acidic, slightly sour. That's so it, that's more it's like spicy. It's a little bit spicy. That's it. like water and that's like milk. Yes, really good analogy. Really good analogy. That's thinner and drier, and that really fills your mouth. This one, yeah. because it's it's full-bodied and voluptuous and silky, and that's sharper and drier and, I like that. and refreshing. Yeah, and that's I can tell you, there's a lot of history behind that one because that was made in France and Belgium in the olden days wow. in the winter time, and then they bring it out in the summer, and it was for all the farm workers who worked in the fields. So they had a cheap, easy beer. But they put things in it and to try they wanted it really that zingy and zesty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, now that's the Saison and it's called Luminari. Nice. See now I know what I like if I ever go to a craft beer place without you. Not all Saisons are like that, but that's Oh great. But that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. You couldn't suck pints of it. I could. Yeah. Well maybe one or two. <laughs> I couldn't suck pints of that, it's too heavy. Yeah, good. So that's a heavy beer. Full of, full of body. Yeah. yeah. We've got some posh uh, bread and butter. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, a whey onion puree has been served with the onion ash made from the skin, so we are not to waste any of the onion. And I'm trying sweet reds for the first time, which is what we're calling it? Off it? Glands. Oh, glands. The neck, the neck of the lamb. It's not testicles, it's glands. I eat it whole. Yeah, we'll put it in, chew it, yeah. What's the texture going to be like? Uh, uh, very soft. Mm. 
Be good. Mm. Well, Sister Brasola, they do it in house. Mm. Cure the beef in house, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Three bread, the fucking that, that really good. Mm. Don't order too much food. What's that? What you mean? Pork is that onion? onion? Yeah. It's way with like caramelised onion. That is so nice. Be good, Em. I don't want a bit of bread then. Mm. Are you happy? Really? Me and Em have wanted to come here for quite a while, haven't we? Mm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The onion flavour. I think we're going to have to start a YouTube channel, Dad. Everywhere we go, we'll go we'll do a review. Do you reckon, right, baby? Yeah. Right. This bread. This bread. They were about this bread. You remember? Isn't that looking over the lot? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 really, that's really gets paid for. Scrum diddly yum yum. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. I didn't vlog yesterday, but I did get my hair done, which. Why is it not coming out? Uh, uh, uh. What's going on? Okay, we'll go. I know I just got my hair done on Thursday, yeah? I can hear you talking. On Thursday, I had a blow dry because I was invited by Dyson to get a blow dry. Yesterday, I had my hair appointment booked in. Right, I've not looked at it this morning, so I don't know how it's... Oh, it don't... It's not looking good right now, but it'll look good in a minute. I had my colour and a chop yesterday. So I had balayage on my hair, so I had the colour topped up and a little chop because it was in need of one. So yeah, I've had my head on twice this week, which is crazy because usually it is scraped on my head. I was literally just about to make breakfast. I got everything out for breakfast. And my friend just called me and said, do you want to go out for breakfast? And I'm never going to say no. And it helps me get my hot girl steps in because we're going to walk there. We're going to go to Cafe North in Shoot Hill. So I've already made a coffee, but I'm going to set off to her in like 20 minutes. So we'll go on a little wholesome Saturday morning brunch. Mm. One then. Oh, that sauce is banging, yeah. Okay, I just got ready for this little house party I'm going to tonight. I have no clue. My friend just said, I'm going to a house party on Saturday. Do you want to come? And I was like, yeah. So I don't think I'll know anyone there, which is funny as fuck. But I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Do you know what I mean? So I've done my makeup. I did it in the dark. So it actually turned out pretty good, considering I did it in the dark. So let's make a drink. I want to have a little drinky poo, but I don't have much in the house. So let's see what we got. We have a glass. I am obsessed with these glass straws that I got on Amazon, by the way. Look at them, they're like little flowers, but I've lost so many. I feel like there was a set of eight and I only have like two left. I think I broke them, lost them. God knows why they weren't. Anyway, let's get some ice. Bum, 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 bada, bum, bum. We're gonna freestyle this because I've, oh, I've got some juice. I have some juice, okay, this is good. Tequila, tequila, tequi, tequi. Altos, Olmeca Altos. Oh, I thought it was a pump and it's not. It's a screw top. We're not gonna measure, cause measuring is for boring people. That feels like a good amount. I don't know. Right, what is this? Multivitamin juice. What's even in it? Apple juice, orange juice, peach puree, grape juice, pineapple juice, passion fruit juice. It smell, has this got carrots in it? It actually doesn't. I don't know, it smells kind of weird. We'll just do that much. Does juice go off? Cause I don't know how long it's been in there. Okay, I think it's fine. Cloudy lemonade. And then, I've got some grenadine. When in doubt, throw grenadine in there. Oh, I feel like grenadine and tequila is just, yeah. This is almost like a tequila sunrise. Shall we put some lime? Let's taste it before we do anything else. Well, I'll be damned. That shit's good. It had me in the first half. I was like, ooh, what is that taste? Grenadine was a superb choice. I think I'm gonna put some lime juice in it though. I feel real bouge because I have like a whole proper juicer. <sighs> <sighs> that was hard work. 
Okay, mixy mix. Yeah, that shit's good. That shit's good. That shit's real good. It tastes like juice. I don't know what to wear, guys. I don't know what the vibe's gonna be. Shall we go and get dressed? You can help me decide. The lighting in this house, the, 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 it's just making me look awful. Is that better? That's better. <gasps> oh my God, let me show you some stuff. So I came home before and I had some packages. First of all, one of my faves, Neon. They sent me some Christmas stuff. Oh my God, it's like nearly the end of October. That means Christmas is in two months. Look at this. Is this not absolutely stunning? I love this Christmas packaging. Christmas wish scented candle. Mandarin cinnamon and tonka bean. The smell on this, I opened it before. It is so strange because it smells like a Terry chocolate orange mixed with like vanilla. It's so nice. Like, you know, most Christmas scents are like really like holly jolly. You could actually burn this all year round and it wouldn't be an issue. Like it's not hella, hella Christmassy. Honestly, it just smells warm and spicy and like a Terry's chocolate orange. They also sent it to me in an oil and they sent these, which let me show you. I'm actually in awe of this. So the, they send the oil because they sent this. This is a ceramic natural diffuser, right? So what it is, it's a little star like this that you can hang around your house and you can spray on, room spray or put on oils, like essential oils. And it's like, a na oh my God, I lost my voice then. It's a natural diffuser. Like I'm blown away by that. I did not know that was a thing. So I'm gonna load it up with this oil and put them all around the house and it's gonna make the house smell incredible. And they're just very festive. So cute. You can even put them on your Christmas tree. One of my faves, Dermatica, sent through some of their skincare. Like, I use their nighttime serum, the personalized one, but they also have more skincare that they sent to me. So this is the Azalic Acid Cream, SPF 50 Cream. And get this, it's the PR packaging for me. Ugh. How sick is that? So when you open the doors, balancing glycerin gel cleanser. We have a restoring ceramide skin balm, soothing Santella gel moisturizer, nourishing ceramide and peptide moisturizer, hydrating hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. Oh, I know I'm gonna love that. Anything hydrating, anything, yeah. Squalene cream cleanser. I don't really use cream cleansers, but I can try that one out. Okay, let's take my drink and let's go find an outfit. All right, go away. All right, my vibe for tonight is effortless steez. I don't want to look like I made too much effort because I'm going to be in someone's living room. Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm laughing because I always wear the same thing. Car goes in a nice top. Do you know what I mean? So let's let's piece a little outfit together. That you can see my thought process. We're going to start with the good old trusties, the camo cargoes from ASOS. Cool. Top wise, I don't know what to do. This could be cute, but it's a little bit random. Do you know what I mean? I'm obsessed with this, by the way. It's from PLT. It's a matching set. The pants are also really nice. This is a new top that I got. Don't really go with the pants. I do like this though. This is from ASOS. I might just go hella simple and do a white tee, but we're gonna accessorize the fuck out of it. Let me try this on and we'll see how it looks. I don't like it. I'm changing. You see this? It's the same, but different. And I kind of like that. I think the neck was too high on this and the sleeves are too long. Okay, so we could do the Purple Kai Collective. I do think this is real cute. Or we have the denim jacket. Oh, I don't know about this one. This is a non-contender, I don't like this. Or the Crop Biker. It's a no, it's too busy. Let's accessorize. So I have my E necklace on, and then I've also got this pendant. Oh, okay. I got this on Amazon. It's like a big happy laughing Buddha. So we're gonna layer up. I quite like these earrings, so I might just keep them in, but we'll do some rings. I really need to get a new jewelry box. I think I might order that. I'll go for it right now. Bracelet, lovely. Rings. Also my charm bracelet. I'm gonna take my Apple Watch off because she's ruining the vibe. That's about it. And I'll put some more lip gloss on. What have we got? Lifter gloss, Maybelline lifter gloss. What shade is this? It's a really pretty pink. 06 Reef. How gorge. 
Gorgina. I'm gonna do for big stompers, Nike up tempos, which really need a clean, to be honest with you. And then we might do this bag. Either this one or, or no, I'm not gonna wear black. Yeah, this one. Do you see the vision? Do you see it? I think it looks really cute. <laughs> this is from ASOS and I love it. Hopefully I'll get to film a little bit while I'm out, but I will be out enjoying myself, so. I'll check back in with you at some point. Look at my breakfast. Ooh, avocado on a bagel with scrambled eggs. And I've got everything bagel seasoning on top, but it's at like the bottom of the, like there's not much left. So it's like bare poppy seeds. <laughs> I don't mind though, but I know they're gonna get stuck in my teeth. It's Sunday. I'm just doing some little admin -y things right now. Last night was cute. So I went to a little house party. It was a chill vibe. It was fun. Today I've got some stuff I wanna do. So I've got like some work I wanna do. I want to do some baking. I want to do some baking in the Thermomix. Then I've got a date later, which I won't be bringing you on. I might show you before I go out and like end the vlog, but I got a date. And I really fancy this boy. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, girls. Everything in due time. And I know, I know I said I wasn't dating, but this one sort of just fell on my lap. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just laughing at myself because I just find myself hilarious. But we're doing things different. I feel like this year has been a whole fucking year. I'm gonna do a get ready with me soon and we can have a life catch up about everything. So we'll save that for that. But yeah, we're going to my favorite restaurant, which I'm excited about. I'm gonna be looking cute later, so that will be nice. But I need to go to Tesco soon to get some ingredients for my baking that I wanna do. I just wanna make natas. Pastèche, pastel, pastèche. Pas no, pastel is one and pastèche is multiple. I'm going to make pastéis de natto because there's going to be a lot of them. So yeah, it's really easy in my Thermomix because I just have to make the custard and then I buy ready puff pastry and then just put it in the tins and it's going to be fun. But let me eat my breakfast. Guys, look, I made nattas. Oh my God. I literally just ate one so I don't want to eat another, but I love these. They're so nice. They're actually not hard at all. Like you don't even need a Thermomix. Like buy puff pastry. Pre-made puff pastry, roll it out, cut it, it, cut it up into like circles, put it in a muffin tin, and then you just have to make the custard, which you can make on the stove top. They're actually really easy, a lot easier than you'd think. I probably should have left these in a bit longer so they could get a bit more colour, but they taste incredible and I'm happy with them. They're just so flaky and buttery and delicious. And I just sprinkled cinnamon on top. Chef's kiss. I've just done my hair, literally a really quick curl. I'm gonna do my makeup. So let's get ready. Is done it turned out so cute honestly a half lash will change your life these are the wildcat lashes in gal pal i think but i've actually become really good at putting on lashes now i used to be shit but now i've got this trick where i look down like i have a little mirror and i look down like this whilst i put it on because i always used to get lifting on like the band here if you look down you won't get that lifting girl it's so good so yeah hair makeup is done i'm gonna sign off for the night because i want to get ready in peace and serenity and not be stressed. <laughs> but I might check in with you tomorrow and tell you how it went before I sign off the vlog. I know that's what you want. I'll see you later, bye. Hello my loves. I'm gonna sign out from the vlog here. The date went really well. I'm actually recording this on the day that I'm uploading this. We've been on like two more days since then. We are gonna talk about this in a get ready with me soon, 
we'll divulge and have a little deep dive into what's been going on in my life. But if this year taught me anything, it was to take things as they come, not to get overexcited about things, even if it seems like it's gonna go really well. Which is kind of sad, but in the same sense, I call it managing expectations. So we'll just see what happens. Take every day as it comes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you very soon. Love you guys.